Rico's governor is in town. Ricardo Rosello stopped by CBS4. He sat down exclusively with Jim DeFeedy to talk about a number of big issues, including his relationship, or lack thereof, with President Trump. I've taken better care of Puerto Rico than any man ever. 18 months after Hurricane Maria decimated Puerto Rico, President Donald Trump this week declared himself the savior of the island. Puerto Rico has been taken care of better by Donald Trump than by any living human being. And I think the people of Puerto Rico understand it. The governor of Puerto Rico, however, would beg to differ. The people of Puerto Rico are uh, concerned, are frustrated uh, with the fact that uh, recovery funds are flowing slower, that we're treated uh, differently as second-class citizens in Puerto Rico. During a taping for this Sunday's Facing South Florida, Governor Ricardo Rosello said the president was wrong when he recently said Puerto Rico had received $91 billion in aid. Really what has gone to Puerto Rico has been about five to seven billion dollars of emergency work. That means everything that was to put roofs back on, to put the roads working, to pay the emergency workers. But in terms of the reconstruction, which is the, the, the big part now, the important part, how do we rebuild effectively for Puerto Rico? We have only have 46 projects uh, ongoing, which is about uh, 86 million dollars. During his comments Thursday, the president derided the governor and other leaders in Puerto Rico. They don't know how to spend the money and they're not spending it wisely. I think that the president is, is, is confused. Rosello said he had been asking for a meeting with the president for months so he could explain what was happening. But Trump has so far refused to talk to him. He's sat down with a dictator of uh, North Korea. He sat down with the president of Russia. I can't see a scenario or, or a reason why if you were to be able to sit down with, with those two folks, why wouldn't he sit down with one of his governors? In the past, Trump rated his efforts in Puerto Rico as a 10, but the governor disagrees. The recovery is very poor. It's very poor uh, relative to Katrina. I want to give him the opportunity to, to respond, but it's certainly not a 10. Jim is joining us now, and you also talked to the governor about another important issue for Puerto Rico, and that's statehood. What do you say? He was actually in Washington earlier this week because there's a new bill that's been introduced in Congress that would advance Puerto Rican statehood, put it on a fast track, really. There were votes in 2012 and 2017 on the island to move ahead. They were non-binding. Now Darren Soto, congressman from Central Florida, and others, including some Republicans, are trying to push a bill that would have Puerto Rico gain statehood within 90 days of it passing. The question as to whether or not it'll pass, though, it seems like a remote chance right now. It's been a long debate, that's yeah. for sure. All right, Jim, interested in hearing what else the governor has to say this weekend on Facing South Florida. Thank you. Thank you, Jim.